I am finna <laughs> use a new product on my locks to retwist for the very first time and I'm a little nervous I cannot stunt because I've never used this before not only that but the method to retwisting is much different as you can see it's spray and lock it's not a gel it's a liquid form and I don't know how this is going to go but stay tuned so I don't know if anyone else is like myself, but I've been waiting to achieve this milestone within my lock journey for the longest. As you all know, I just recently celebrated my two year lockversary a couple of weeks ago. And one of the things I've been looking forward to is using less or fewer hair clips to hold my locks in place during my retwist. Reason being for the obvious reasons, you know, hair clips are very painful at times. You know, it, it, it's painful to be in your head. It's painful when you're under the dryer. It's just annoying to have that in place. So to achieve this, I believe um, is based off of the maturity of your locks as well as the length of your locks. Both play a major factor in how many clips you would need to hold your locks in place during a retwist. But I accomplished that. So this is the final result. I'll try and have better shots tomorrow. I'll give you guys my Good morning, you guys. Okay, so this is immediately the next day following this retwist using spray and lock lock and spray <laughs> hair product okay so anywho um this is just my initial honest and true review after using this for the first time okay so let me just explain the method to using spray and lock lock and spray um so you know you're supposed to spray your locks in sections when you're doing your hair um it's not like you're doing it you're spraying the lock individually you're spraying your the section of your locks that you have laid you retwist clip and move on to the next section once you are done you are then supposed to spray the oil on your locks on your scalp and then heat your locks um, by going under the blow dryer, whatever the case may be. I did not do those steps in that manner, okay? Um, for starters, I initially wanted to retwist my locks and attempt to do a double strand or rope twist, which didn't turn out right. So I ended up taking out the twists and just, you know, leaving it as is. So if my retwist in some areas do not look clean or tight or sharp that's why secondly um i did not um spray the spray on and heat and sit under a dryer heat up my locks whatsoever or my scalp the oil that is associated with the lock and spray um or spray and lock lock and spray is supposed to aid as a hot oil treatment once you retwist your locks i didn't do that i didn't even add heat at all i was too tired too lazy i wanted to do it and get it over with so that's how that went um another thing i wanted to point out as far as how i like the hold and things of that nature i really do agree with the hold i love it um, I do feel that there is a tacky residue to it. I don't know if that's because I use too much, but I don't even think that's the case because I did try it on my daughter's hair and it leaves like a tacky, sticky residue, um, as you can imagine, but it really does a great job as far as holding your hair in place when used and done properly as instructed. Um, you guys see me perform this lock style before and this is a lock style I am going to continue to perform until I master it, okay? Um, outside of that, you know, um, I really enjoy the lock and spray. I haven't determined whether or not it's going to be my new go-to 
product as far as retwisting my locks, but I will attempt to use it again. Um, and I will try it again on my daughter fairy lock unicorns locks and, you know, try it a few times before I make that determination because I do like how it holds. So that's my initial review and I'll be keeping you guys posted. Peace. Peace and love, love and harmony and be blessed.